So what's our goal? Like a lot of people these days, we work at home and we just want to make sure that if there's a storm or we lose power, we have a backup so that we can continue to work. Why did we choose solar? We actually started out first thinking about a generator. The problem is we live in an HOA where they're not going to let us have that because of limited space and all the requirements of distance between the generator and the fuel and etc. And we're not talking about a little gas powered thing that you can just fill and run. We're talking about something like a Generac that you have permanently set up. So our next option was solar. Another issue we face is we can't put panels on the roof because the roof doesn't really belong to us. We have a little bit of space on the ground and we thought we would set things up on the ground. A small setup just on the ground that could give us some backup capability. As you're probably aware, solar can be quite expensive and having it hooked up to the grid and feeding power back to the uh, electric company is another issue but we decided not to do any of that because chances are the HOA is not going to approve that either. We found a system that is typically used on RVs therefore the solar panels are smaller and it doesn't have to be grid tied obviously and because of its size and without all that extra complication we have a shot at doing this ourselves with some input from folks who have some knowledge in this area. We selected a kit from Expert Power that comes with six solar panels. It's a five kilowatt system and it has four batteries, 100 amps each. It has a controller and an inverter. We ended up purchasing the slightly larger controller 60 amp rather than the 40 in case we add any more solar panels. The inverter is 3000 watts which was the larger one we went with that and the boxes have arrived so now let's get to the unboxing. Okay it's finally here our solar setup from Expert Power. Okay. Yeah we'll start with what I think is a battery but Yeah, that looks like a battery. I will check this one. Okay. Hopefully this is another battery. Yeah, that definitely looks like a battery. Okay. We now have two batteries out. Let's see what this looks like. They weigh roughly 20 pounds a piece. Wow, look at that. Thank you. Fabulous. Okay. Okay. I guess we gotta put those up vertical. Oh wait, that's not a battery. That's that looks like maybe the controller. Okay. Alright. So we'll come back to that. Okay, third battery. I think this is the last battery. Okay, so we have our four batteries. Let's go to the control. Let's see what's in this box. Looks like we have some clamps, I guess. Some hookup cables I see on top there. Oh, those are the splitters. Great. More cables. And. Oops. Okay. Hold on. That's definitely the controller. And that looks like a outside temperature gauge and our manual and the template so we can drill drill the wall and hook the thing up okay fabulous 
the inverter. Okay. Okay, the manual. And there it is, along with some cables. Let's look at the solar panels now. Okay. Let's get it cut open from the top carefully. Okay, now that we've got the box open on the back side as well. Good. Does it look good on its face or you can't see at the other side? Oh, you can't see. Okay, so let's, let's get that opened up. Looks good. Okay. This box looks a little bigger, so it looks like there's two in there. Yes, there's two in there. Okay, careful, careful, careful. I see some hints of damage. I don't know. Hold on. Uh-oh. As you can see, this one is shattered. This was not expected. So this is bad news. So we're down at least one panel. Don't, yeah, don't put your fingers on that. Let's hope this one isn't broken. How does that one look? Okay, all right, so four out of six. All right, we'll have to see. Each solar panel had this uh, diagram included with it. The batteries have this label stuck on them with a QR code and you download an app that then lets you manage the battery and its power and how much voltage it has and so on. So the first thing we need to do is balance the batteries and make sure that they're all the same voltage before we start loading them. This is the side of the battery. These are the newer batteries that have Bluetooth connectivity, which makes it a little easier to keep an eye on them. The finish is nice. I haven't tried it yet, so don't know what the display shows, but um, it's a pretty solid unit the fan on this side and the main power coming in from the batteries and over here a couple of outlets and the output AC as well as AC input on top of the inverter just below the screen there is a switch that tells us what kind of battery this is set to and it's already set correctly to number five which is what we have there's also a dip switch that shows uh, priority is given to 60 Hertz and AC and then some other indicators so we'll have to see what this is all about and those are some pretty serious cables it came with I'm really glad I don't have to crimp these wouldn't have the tools for something like this it's a good half inch thick on the left are the mounting brackets that the inverter came with over here we have the switch for the inverter to turn it on and off and some other parts have to look at the manual for all this Finally some information about the controller. It's 11 inches wide, 8 inches high, and 4 inches deep. It has a pretty massive heat sink and you'll notice the connector for the temperature there. A 
really nice finish. It's got a nice feel to it. And some information on it right there. And it's telling you clearly where you plug in the solar, where the batteries go, and any output. I should point out that the kit normally comes with a 40 amp controller but I went for the 60 amp just in case I add more panels later and this one has a nice display that you can see some more information so it was worth it. So far here's what we have our splitters our wiring, the solar wires, the controller, instructions, and the, the connectors, more wires, those are the 6 gauge, or sorry, 8 gauge, and the batteries, and then finally the inverter and its parts and over here we have the solar panels along with the broken ones over there this box contains the mounting brackets and some other things I ordered because they didn't come with the um, kit but they told me what I needed a couple of fuses a breaker etc so let's take a look Okay, so we've got four mounting brackets, they're adjustable, and looks like some fuses, and probably the breaker, a crimping tool, and some more wire. Here we have a breaker. This will go between our solar panels and the controller. The next fuse we have goes on the red positive wire between the controller and the battery. The final fuse is a 400 amp fuse again on the positive wire going from the battery to the inverter. The batteries will be connected in parallel positive to positive to positive to positive and negative to negative to negative to negative. And here we have three of the uh, mounting brackets, the adjustable mounting brackets, I actually put one together so you can see what they look like, but we have four in all and I'm going to be pairing them so I'm going to need probably more brackets than I have right now. We'll see. I've set up a simple two-panel test right now. Here we're looking at the app which monitors the batteries through Bluetooth and gives us general information.